Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluter. And today, guys, I want to say a very special thank you to my audience there. I love you all. Guys, are doing paid review. We're doing paid review. Um, it's, uh, i got to tell you, this is paid review 20SE59. 20 20SE59. 20 so this is a great review here. This is for Robert. Uh, and he's got a bit of an interesting collection here. He goes, hey, this is... This is cool. Before we start, quick, 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 quick. Whist, whist, watch, check. And we're in the paddock. Five, one, nine, six. Five, one, nine, six. Hey, Arch. I hope you are well and staying safe, mate. I've been following your channel for a few years now, and you stopped me from watching. Uh, you stopped me from collect from watch collecting Armageddon as I started collecting cheap Seikos after watching. A certain rodent from YouTube. Lucky for me, I was only three watches deep. Uh, but hey, that's in the past. So without further ado, let's uh, let's do a collection review. Very very good indeed there. So let's let's have a look. Let's let's have a look. Have a look, and see what he um, he says here. So this is this is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, he goes on to say, uh, okay, he's got a Tag Heuer Link Chronograph. This was my first watch, bought in 2004-2005, uh, when I was a carpenter living in London, and I've been hooked ever since. In 2005, I emigrated to Australia. Uh, yes... And life has never been so good with my career going from strength to strength. Well done. No wonder they call Australia the lucky country. So with a promotion to construction site manager, I purchased my first Rolex, a GMT Master 2, 116710. And this is where my interest in Rolex becomes an obsession. I love this brand and it's always thrilled me yes indeed there i i do agree i do agree um now my collection is as follows he's got a hulk a hulk rolex hulk submariner yes sir uh that's double one double six one oh lv how can you not love this piece with the green dial and bezel on a sunny day it just pops then we've got a bluesy rolex bluesy Double one double six one three LB. This two tone stunner is just amazing to wear, and I love it. I understand, of course, you would love it. Why wouldn't you love that baby there? That's a beautiful, 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 beautiful piece. Uh, that's what I say. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece there. Um, we've got a Rolex Submariner, a double one. Double six one zero LN. I find this watch to be classic, and it brings a mature feel to my collection. Yes. Uh, the next thing we've got here is we have indeed a Datejust Datejust forty one blue dial on an oyster bracelet with a smart and ca it's a smart and casual watch in one. I just love the white gold fluted bezel. Yes, that's a, a good point there. Fluted bezels are cool, that's for sure indeed there. We love our fluted bezels, that's what I say. We do love our fluted bezels. Um, he says there, I just love the gold fluted bezel sunburst style and how the light bounces off it. I bought this to try and balance the collection. Reference 126300. Yes, indeed there. Yes, indeed. That's a um, that's a great way to to go there. That's what I would uh, certainly say there. Then we have what do we have here? 
What do we have? We have a stainless steel sea dweller, like the Submariner, but on steroids. Yes, that's a very good way to describe it. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, I really like the look of this with the non-Cyclops crystal. And engineering that make it an exceptional dive watch. Yeah, I, I agree. It is very, very cool there. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, next thing we've got is a Batgirl. Rolex Batgirl. That's the Jubilee bracelet GMT. What a great watch indeed there. Uh, Batgirl on the Jubilee. I prefer it. I would prefer it on the Oyster Bracelet, to be honest, as it feels slightly feminine. Well, I think it'll grow on you. Reference 126710 uh, BLNR. Then we've got a Rolex Explorer 2, black dial, just awesome. This is the 42mm, reference 216570. Then we've got a Polar, Polar Explorer 2. Now, this is the piece I wear the most. It, it goes... It just most suits me to a T. I love the dial. Uh, he goes on to say that he loves the dial. And the loom is amazing. It's a perfect understated daily wearer. Yes, sorry. Then we've got a Sea Dweller two-tone. This watch is the daddy. You betcha. The daddy. The daddy. Uh, sea Dweller Two-Tone, this watch is the daddy of the collection and I truly love the feel of it on my 8-inch wrist. Yes, indeed there. What a great watch. Reference 126603. Then we've got a Root Beer, Rolex Root Beer Two-Tone GMT. I love this watch. Absolutely amazing. Root Beer Two-Tone. What can I say about this piece? It's totally amazing to look at and wears even better. Uh, I've been chasing this for two years, and now it's all mine, and I can't express how happy I am with this collection. Can I say thank you to my local AD, Dina, my local AD, Dina at Smiles Subiaco, for looking after my watch collecting needs. Panda next, ha ha. So much, what do you think of the collection? And are ever going to make a comeback to Rolex. Kind regards, Robert. Well, Robert, thank you so much there. What do I think of the collection? Man, I absolutely love it. I love it. You've got the colors happening. What do I think there? Now, I'm just having a sticky beak at this, this collection here. I love... i got to tell you what I really do love here. Okay, so we have got... We've got such a beautiful... We've got the, the bluesy Submariner. We have the classic black ceramic, and we've also got the Hulk. So those three in themselves there, what a superb Submariner collection. That's all I can say. Then we've got the two, 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 two. We've got a two-tone... You've got a two-tone, let me have a look there, let me have a look. You've got the two-tone, oh, that's the Sea Dweller, the Sea Dweller, sorry, the two-tone Sea Dweller, that's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, that there. Then you've got the, the Root Beer, the Root Beer, absolutely love that, that's a gorgeous piece. You've got the Big Sea Dweller, the Big Sea Dweller, I'd say gorgeous deep sea the deep sea i love the deep sea i think the deep sea is amazing excellent buying i think they've got huge potential they were the biggest the baddest uh dive watch rolex made there and uh i gotta say look i gotta say man you've got some and you've got the two explorers what a collection two explorers and i got the roller okay you've sent me some photos there yes so I got to tell you, man, I think you have really nailed it. What a beautiful collection. Stick with Rolex. You really can't go wrong. These are so usable, so um, 
man, I think this is a beautiful collection. Rolex is amazing stuff. Um, look, I got out of Rolex. Do I regret it? At times I do. Yes, I do. I do. Will I ever be coming back to Rolex? Of course I do. But the problem is, you know, I think prices are high and they just keep getting higher. That's basically it. So I've got to be honest with you. I wanted to go into some paddocks. You know, I wanted to ponce around with Paddock Philippe's and I sold Rolex to buy them. That's what I did. That's what I did. But in all honesty, uh, I'd love to get some Rolex. You bet you. I, I miss, I miss. I think the sweet spot, you know, the most usable watch I'd like to get is the two-tone. No, actually, actually, the sorry, the, the Explorer 2. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. That's what I want. Um, I got to tell you, that is a very, very gorgeous piece. Explore it to black or polar, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, would I go black or white? Doesn't matter. It's just an amazing, amazing piece. I think that's a good size as well. What do I think of the collection? It's amazing. You have come here. You, 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 the Australian dream. Hard working. Many hard working poms come out here. I get it, man. I completely get it. Well done. You've got an amazing. That's a super collection. <laughs> What can you say? That's there's nothing. I I can't. I cannot talk this collection down or or or, or distract, d detract from the amazingness of it. This is very a lot of money, a lot of big bucks. Very very big bucks. It's a lot of bucks in there, and uh, I got to be honest with you, man. There is nothing wrong with having a lot of. Uh, bucks in your collection. You got big bucks, big big bucks. Buy Rolex, Rolex. I got to be honest with you. I can't even think of any suggestions there to add. There would I add an Amiga? Probably not. Stick with Rolex. Stick with Rolex. Stick with Rolex. I think your collection. Everything, man. You got such a beautiful collection. How many watches we got here? Um. So did you keep? You didn't send me a pic of the Hoyer. Did you keep the Hoyer or sell it? But um you've got the you have got the what the, I, I'm not quite sure how many you've got here how many you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten in the main body uh oh okay ten 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 I don't know if you have the Hoyer or not well it doesn't matter it doesn't count does it 10 Rolex. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. What an amazing collection, man. Uh, what can I say to you? What I think of it? The collection's amazing. It's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and the thing is, you can cash out. You've got money. You've done well. But it's not about the money. It's about the enjoyment. Well done. I think it's an absolutely amazing collection. What do I think of it? It's bloody amazing. It's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive indeed. Much better than having some fancy wancy Range Rover. You know, instead of having a Range Rover, I'd rather have this collection, that's for sure. Uh, it's amazing that somebody's come out, taken on the Australian dream. He's got a shite load of Rolex. What a wonderful collection. What would I add to that? I mean, I, 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 I just, I think you got everything covered. You've got subbies. You got the date just. You got the two explorers. Um, I got to be honest with you, man. You have. There's nothing I would. I mean, would I add, say, a Milgauss or an Explorer one? Probably not. I think you've got beautiful watches. It's an amazing collection. Absolutely, absolutely amazing absolutely amazing you've done really really well that's a, it's a beautiful that's it's an amazing collection that's amazing it's it's amazing so all i can say is congratulations beautiful beautiful collection thank you so much i i love it what would i add there i don't think you need to add anything you've got every base covered there look it'd be nice to have a panda yeah of course it would but just hold your time out get a panda if you can't get a pan to get a two-tone Daytona, that's 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 all I would do. Man, you've got all your bases covered. Beautiful collection. What a 
amazing. I think that's the only word I can say is amazing. So, well done. Well done indeed. I'm Archie Luxury. This has been a paid review for Robert. Tell me what you think, guys. Amazing collection. 10-piece Rolexes. Amazing! That's amazing, man. That is a, that's an amazing collection. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't be afraid to put some comments. Guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. Paid reviews is what keeps me in the saddle. Without these paid reviews, I would sink. I would sink. So please keep the paid reviews coming. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.